Boeing is one of the most storied names in aerospace. Known for its long history of aircraft innovation and its key role in space exploration since the Apollo era, Boeing has long been a trusted NASA partner. The company built components for the space shuttle, helped assemble the International Space Station, and was chosen alongside SpaceX in 2014 to restore American crew launch capabilities through NASA's commercial crew program. But a decade later, Boeing's once reliable image has begun to crack. While SpaceX's Crew Dragon has now flown 10 successful operational missions, Boeing's Starliner has yet to complete even one. And now, despite repeated failures, mounting technical issues, and soaring costs, NASA is preparing to launch Starliner again, this time with astronauts aboard. It's a decision raising serious questions about safety, accountability, and whether the agency is risking too much for too little. Given Boeing's historical importance and its current challenges, something pivotal is now happening with the Starliner program. In this video, we'll explore why NASA's decision to continue with Starliner may be a serious mistake. But before we go further, make sure to subscribe for more fact-driven coverage of the space industry. Boeing's Starliner capsule was supposed to be a competitive complement to SpaceX's Crew Dragon. When both companies received NASA contracts in 2014, Boeing was awarded $4.2 billion, significantly more than SpaceX's $2.6 billion, based on its legacy and perceived reliability. Yet as of 2025, Boeing has delivered zero operational missions while SpaceX has safely carried 56 astronauts to the ISS. Starliner's problems started early. Its first uncrewed flight test in 2019 failed to reach the ISS due to a critical software error and a timing malfunction, requiring more than 80 corrective actions. The second attempt, OFT-2, was delayed by corroded valves and thruster issues. But the real crisis came with the crew flight test in June 2024. That mission nearly ended in disaster. During ISS docking, Starliner suffered a cascading failure of four RCS thrusters. With only one remaining, the spacecraft came dangerously close to losing full attitude control. Astronaut Butch Wilmore later admitted, I don't know that we can come back to Earth at that point. Five separate helium leaks further disabled the propulsion system, making the situation more volatile. The decision was ultimately made to return the vehicle uncrewed, an unprecedented move in American spaceflight. As a result, Wilmore and co-astronaut Suni Williams were stranded on the ISS for nine months. They eventually returned to Earth aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon in March 2025. Meanwhile, Starliner's crew module experienced its own thruster failure during uncrewed re-entry a separate system from the service module, raising concerns about whether any part of the spacecraft could be trusted. These were not isolated incidents. The 2022 OFT-2 flight also reported thruster problems, suggesting long-standing issues with propulsion reliability. Investigations traced many failures to overheating Teflon poppet seals in the thruster units. These seals warped during repeated firings in sunlight, restricting oxidizer flow and causing in-flight underperformance. This flaw had not been detected in qualification testing due to insufficient thermal modeling. Other critical flaws have also come to light. Boeing discovered flammable tape on internal wiring harnesses an obvious fire hazard, and serious structural concerns with parachute strength. The Aerospace Safety Advisory Panel noted that Boeing's testing infrastructure lacked full end-to-end -end integration for software and avionics, contributing to many of these overlooked issues. The organizational response hasn't inspired confidence either. Reports describe blurred lines of authority during the CFT crisis, with unclear responsibilities between NASA oversight and Boeing's mission control teams. Financially, Starliner has become an unsustainable burden. The original $4.2 billion fixed-price contract has ballooned by more than $2 billion in Boeing losses, including $523 million in 2024 alone. At an estimated $1.03 billion per flight, nearly triple the cost of a Crew Dragon launch, Starliner represents poor value even if it works. 
and with the ISS set to retire by 2030, only a maximum of six Starliner missions remain, reducing the return on investment even further. Worse, the repeated delays have put the next launch no earlier than 2026, making Boeing at least four years behind SpaceX. NASA now says that full certification is contingent on upcoming thruster testing at White Sands Missile Range, but even those tests have no guaranteed timeline. Meanwhile, some astronauts originally assigned to Starliner missions, like Mike Finke and Kimia Yui, have quietly been reassigned to SpaceX flights, reflecting eroding confidence within NASA. The risk isn't just technical or financial, it's also human. Starliner still needs multiple major redesigns, including thermal fixes, battery upgrades, airbag reinforcements, and removal of hazardous materials. All of these must be completed and validated before any astronauts can safely board. Yet NASA is still moving toward that goal, even as its own safety advisors question whether a second crew provider will be certified before the ISS shuts down. Given these facts, safer and more cost-effective alternatives exist. SpaceX's Dragon has already proven itself over 10 missions and could easily take on additional flights. NASA holds options in its existing contract to do so at minimal additional cost. If redundancy is still a concern, Starliner could be converted to a cargo-only vehicle, fulfilling contractual obligations without risking lives. There's also Sierra Space's Dream Chaser, scheduled to begin ISS cargo flights by 2026, and other next-gen systems in development that could serve post-ISS operations more effectively. So why continue crewed flights on Starliner at all? Some observers argue that NASA is more concerned with preserving the appearance of a competitive market than with operational outcomes. Boeing's political influence and deep history with NASA may be contributing to inertia, where contractual commitments outweigh evolving technical realities. This dynamic, sometimes called institutional capture, can lock agencies into decisions that are no longer rational based on data. NASA has options to correct course. It can invoke safety clauses to terminate crewed flights, redirecting the remaining funds, estimated at $1.5 billion, toward high-priority programs like lunar landers, advanced spacesuits, or ISS science. The agency could strengthen oversight mechanisms, enforce stricter accountability for Boeing, and fast-track certification for alternative vehicles. The goal should not be loyalty to legacy contractors, but safety and efficiency for American spaceflight. Because at its core, this isn't just about a spacecraft, it's about risk, responsibility, and the standards we expect from the most advanced space program in the world. Continuing with crewed Starliner launches means accepting engineering gaps, cultural misalignment, and inflated costs for minimal return. It means placing astronauts in a system with a documented history of failure and incomplete fixes. As astronaut Suni Williams herself admitted after returning to Earth, another uncrewed test flight would be the logical thing to do. That logic remains sound, but even such a test wouldn't solve the fundamental issues with the Starliner platform. And as the clock ticks toward the ISS's decommissioning, every year lost on a flawed system is time and money that could have strengthened the future of American space access. NASA now faces a pivotal decision. Will it double down on a compromise program to fulfill a legacy promise, or will it pivot toward safer, smarter alternatives that better serve the mission? The answer may define not just the end of the ISS era, but the direction of American crewed spaceflight for years to come. What comes next will test more than a spacecraft. It will test NASA's capacity to evolve in the face of hard truths. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.